Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy Monday, it's Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three healthy, lower in carb recipes, which means they're lower in points, just really good for you hearty meals for today. So I am so excited to share them with you. If you are excited for breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. I do upload five days a week, so definitely ring the bell notification so you're notified whenever I post. Check out the description box down below for Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Let's start 2022 off right, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to all of my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm going to make a cottage cheese breakfast bowl packed with protein packed with healthy fats some good carbohydrates from the berries really starting my new year off on the right foot so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need some berries i just have some blackberries and raspberries mixed together you could really use any berry you would like you could try blueberries you could do peaches apples you name it you can add any fruit you'd like to the bowl and then i'm going to be using my favorite cottage cheese which is the good culture low fat cottage cheese this one just has the best ingredients best taste best texture you guys know I'm obsessed with it. And then we're going to add some nuts. So I'm going to do some walnuts. These are from Imperfect Foods. I will make sure Imperfect Foods is linked down below for you guys with $20 worth of free groceries. Just helps prevent food waste. I love them. I order from them every two weeks. And then I'm going to add some raw sliced almonds and some cinnamon. So the first thing I'm going to do is add three quarters of a cup or 165 grams of cottage cheese to my bowl here. I do have my bowl sitting on my food scale. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of the raw sliced almonds, one tablespoon of the walnuts, and a half of a cup of fruit. So I'm going to just pop on some blackberries and some raspberries. And then I'm going to sprinkle just a tiny bit of cinnamon on top, and that's just going to really give this some flavor. So here is our cottage cheese breakfast bowl. Doesn't this look so good? We have just a ton of protein from the cottage cheese, a little extra protein with the nuts, some healthy fats, and those really good carbohydrates from the berries. And then that cinnamon is just going to top this off, finish off this breakfast bowl. So my plan is all week is to prepare these in the morning. So I'll measure everything out, make my bowl eat it immediately that way it's not sitting in my fridge because the nuts sometimes can get a bit soft and soggy in the refrigerator i'm actually going to have this for breakfast today so that is my breakfast for the week my cottage cheese breakfast bowl for lunch this week i'm making a smoky chicken and cinnamon roasted sweet potato meal prep. I'm really excited for this. I haven't had a lot of potatoes. I really focus on sweet potatoes over white or yellow potatoes. So I'm excited to incorporate a little potato back into my life. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some fresh green beans, about a pound, light butter, oil of your choice. I'm using avocado oil, brown sugar alternative. As always, I'm using Lakanto Golden. Lakanto is one of those sugar substitutes that does not have points on personal points. So it's definitely been my go-to for a long time and will continue to be my go-to. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off for you. I have some salt and pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, of course, some sweet potatoes, cinnamon, and of course some chicken breast. So I went ahead and weighed out one pound of sweet potatoes. I washed those up and now I'm going to cut the ends off and we're going to slice them lengthwise in half, leaving the skin on the potato. We're going to add the four slices of sweet potato to the baking sheet. We're going to drizzle one tablespoon total of oil over the potatoes. So I'm going to do half of a tablespoon over the first two, 
the other half a tablespoon over the second one and then repeat for the final two potatoes. And then just take your hand and kind of smear the oil over the whole potato. We're going to season them with some cinnamon and some salt and pepper. Now we're going to flip them over for the cut side to be down on the baking sheet. We're going to pop these into a 400 degree oven for 40 to 50 minutes or until the sweet potatoes are soft and they're bubbling up and we have kind of this caramelized glaze underneath the potatoes. While the potatoes are in the oven, I have my fresh green beans here. I'm going to trim these up, rinse them, and then add them to a bowl. I went ahead and weighed out one pound of chicken. Go ahead and pat that dry with some paper towels. In the small bowl, we're going to make up the rub for the chicken. So the first thing I'm going to add is one teaspoon of Lakanto Golden. This is a half of a teaspoon, so I'm going to add in two of those. A pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt. One teaspoon of paprika and a pinch of garlic powder. Now the original recipe also calls for cayenne pepper. I am not adding that just because you know I don't really like my food spicy. So I'm going to mix that up and then we'll rub it over the chicken. Spray a skillet with some non-stick cooking spray. Let's go ahead and add some of the rub to each side of the chicken. I'm just going to kind of rub that in with my fingers. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Add your pieces of chicken to your sprayed skillet. We're going to allow the chicken to cook completely through. We want it kind of crispy on the outside. So I'm going to cook it over medium heat and then pump up the heat to get that nice crispiness on the outside. Look at how amazing this chicken looks. Once it is completely done, I'm just going to transfer it to a cutting board here because we do need to slice this up and then we'll get our green beans steaming in the microwave. Into my old school Pampered Chef steamer basket, I'm going to add all of my green beans and I just add enough water to cover up the beans and I'm going to pop this in my microwave to steam them. The green beans are done. I went ahead and drained out all of the water. Ooh, those look so good. So we're going to add a tablespoon of light butter and then we're just going to put the lid on. It'll naturally melt with the leftover heat from the beans and then I'll just kind of shake it up to coat the beans, sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper and we're ready to put together the meal preps. So we're ready to start putting together the meal preps. I just wanna show you guys these sweet potatoes. Look at how amazing that looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to add half of a sweet potato to the larger side of my meal prep container. And then my chicken, I went ahead and sliced it into strips. I'm going to divide it evenly among four containers. And then into the smaller compartment, I'm going to put one quarter of my buttered and salted and peppered green beans. This looks so incredibly delicious. So here is what the smoky chicken cinnamon sweet potato meal prep looks like. Doesn't this look absolutely delicious? I'm going to put together the other three and then we'll go over points and calories. And here is my completed lunch meal prep. I have to say I am incredibly, incredibly excited to have this all week. So I have one half of this, a sweet potato, one fourth of the one pound of chicken, and then one fourth of the one pound of green beans. You can measure this out using a food scale for exact measurements, a quarter of everything. But this looks so incredibly delicious. I will go ahead and pop points and calories here on the screen. And again, cannot wait for this for lunch all week. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making high protein jello mousse. I'm really excited for this because it's going to be a healthy sweet treat, but it's also going to give me a ton of protein. And who doesn't love a dessert that has some added protein? So let me show you everything that's in the recipe. It's four ingredients and a brand new, really exciting product that I found 
that really for me has been quite the game changer. You're going to need some sugar-free jello of your choice, whatever flavor you would like. Non-fat Greek yogurt, you guys know I love this grass-fed, grass-finished from Imperfect Foods. It's so good. Again, Imperfect Foods is down in the description box with those $20 worth of free groceries. One cup of water, and then for protein, this is a new find for me, and I've been loving this. This is from the brand Muscle Gen, and this is Gene Pro. So this is a flavorless protein that dissolves in water. Cold water, hot water, it dissolves. There is no chunks at all. It's absolutely amazing. The scoop size for the protein is a lot smaller than traditional protein scoops, but you're still getting such great protein bang for your buck here. It's keto-friendly, non-GMO, lactose-free, gluten-free, 100% natural, low-calorie, and hormone-free. This stuff has been amazing. One scoop only has 58.7 calories and gives you 30 grams of protein. That is so amazing. This stuff, I'm telling you, definitely pick this up. You can add it to anything. You can mix it in with a bottle of water for 30 grams of protein. It has a full typical amino acid profile, nice clean ingredients. Again, complete game changer. I'll definitely link this down below for you guys, but let's make some high protein jello mousse. So I went ahead and warmed my water up in the microwave, not to boiling, but too hot. I'm going to add my packet of sugar-free jello to a medium-sized bowl, and then I'm going to add in the water and stir. Make sure that your jello is completely dissolved in the water. And then we're adding in one scoop, look how small that is, for 30 grams of protein of the Gene Pro. Mix that in as well. And again, it's completely flavorless, zero texture. It's amazing. I'm so glad I discovered it. And then we're adding in 10 ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. I did go ahead and measure that out on my food scale. Whisk that in with the rest of the ingredients. We're going to pour that mixture into four small bowls. Once it's in the bowl, we're going to put a lid on this and allow it to set completely. When you are ready to eat it, you can either use a hand blender, a silicone whisk, an immersion blender, and you're going to blend it up once it's set until it becomes a mousse-like consistency. You can top this with your favorite whipped topping and it would make just such a great dessert. And between these four bowls, we have 30 grams of protein. So that's about seven to eight grams of protein in your dessert, not to mention the protein that's in the Greek yogurt. And this has eight 18 grams of protein in one cup. So this is a very, very high protein, low calorie, low point dessert. It looks absolutely pretty. Depending on the flavor of Jello you choose, you could really make endless, endless types of the high protein Jello mousse. So I'm going to put lids on these, get them into my refrigerator to set, and this is going to be my dessert for tonight. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. They are all absolutely delicious. I can't wait to enjoy them all week. As always, you will find all three recipes on my recipe website. I'll link that down in the description box for you, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, definitely head on over and join us there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite recipe is from today, and I'll see you all in my next video.